Although she was unsuccessful in her bid for Massachusetts governor, Martha Coakley campaigned hard until Election Day. It ultimately ended up being a very close race, as her opponent Charlie Baker won the election by only 40,000 votes. Coakley made a campaign stop in Attleboro just a few short days before November 4th, where she visited Bliss Brothers to reach out to voters. ACS was at the event, and we spoke with her about the election. It's going great. Thanks very much. We are doing uh, stops uh, in New Bedford and Attleboro. We're on our way up to Brockton. Uh, as we have the last 14 months, we're trying to meet with folks as we are here in a retail stop, say hi, happy Halloween. Um, we have a few more days until November 4th, but I've said, and I mean this, no one is going to work harder than I knocking on doors, calling people, to let them know what the difference is between me and Charlie Baker, that I will stand up for early education for kids, I will make sure people get earned sick time, I'll make sure we invest in people in our workforce, so that when the jobs come, as they're coming in Massachusetts, we're turning this around, everybody has a shot at it. That's how we'll be prosperous and be fair here in Massachusetts. Hey, can I say hi? How are you? Yes, you can. Very nice to nice meet to you. Meet you. Good to see you. Good, to see Good you. luck. Good to meet you, Samantha. Thank you. Um, we've not paid attention to the polls, by the way, uh, and I think most people agree that for a lot of reasons that we believe this race is neck and neck. I think we are very close, and I think the difference is going to be turnout. I think we've got a very good organization to get our votes out on Tuesday. But I also think as voters pay attention in these last few days on what I'm going to do for Massachusetts, investing in our kids, investing in our workforce, very different from his plan, which is a Republican playbook, a typical Republican playbook of give corporations tax cuts and hope it trickles down. First, we know it doesn't work. Second, that's not where we're going to be successful in Massachusetts. And we know that our way to move forward is giving everybody a shot at getting a good job, having a good workforce for those jobs. I think that's key, and I think when people think about it, they recognize uh, that I'm going to continue to move Massachusetts forward, investing in innovation and technology and education. That's how we are going to be prosperous and fair here in Massachusetts. We had a terrific visit, a rainy day, but a great walk through downtown Attleboro with your mayor and Governor Patrick, and the wonderful work that the state and the city, frankly, under your mayor's leadership, uh, in developing old buildings and looking at planning for transportation, the kinds of things that I'm so excited about for across the state to be able to build on our cities and towns in a way that makes sense with local leadership and local businesses and input. And so I am running for governor because I think we're right at an opportunity to turn this economy around for everybody, to invest in early education, to get earned sick time for our people, to make sure kids have that good education, including, as we know in the future, you're going to need high school plus in order to get those jobs. Coming by here to see folks enjoying a Halloween lunch and meeting the owner and the staff here, it brings back memories for me. My first job was scooping ice cream at Howard Johnson's when, in Williamstown when I was growing up. So um, uh, it's, it's a terrific state. It's been a great campaign. I feel very strongly that we are on the verge of making uh, this whole state shine, not just Boston and Cambridge, but Attleboro. Taunton, New Bedford, where we were this morning, and I believe, I believe I can and will be the governor that is a terrific partner to the people of Massachusetts and to our cities and towns as we become prosperous and fair. First, we want to make sure we get to every corner of Massachusetts, and in the cities and towns, it's important, I think as it was today, to stop and say hi to folks who are having lunch and talk to them a little bit about what they see. I, I not only talk, I listen to people, I think that's important. But also, I know that most of our uh, people are employed and our businesses are small businesses. That's where we get growth and that's where we get employment and that's where we get stable communities. And frankly, in a, biz in a town like Attleboro, if you can grow other businesses, then you have more business here. Uh, and the kinds of communities that have been our strength in Massachusetts grow up with what's behind my regional economic development plan. Let's invest in our cities and towns. Let's have better transportation, including the South Coast Rail up to Boston. I support that. My Republican opponent does not. I support early education. My Republican Republican opponent says, eh, it's not that effective. I support giving earned sick time to everybody. His plan would leave a million people out of earned sick time. And that's a big difference between what I'm going to do as governor and what I believe my Republican opponent will do. I see the people. I see the ways that we give people a chance to get on that economic ladder with good education. I think he sees the bottom line and not the people behind it.